All right, here we are. I am, it's Valentine's Day, and I thought, what would be more fun than, you know, a bunch of finger foods? Because sometimes I just like to do finger food for dinner. So um, we are having some uh, potato skin poppers that are in the oven right now. And I am going to get working on <clears throat> this awesome recipe right here, which is one of the bonus recipes in the uh, the new uh, taste yeah. introduction to the Taste of Thrive Don't kit. Get her. Sorry, I've got my kiddos Don't. in here, and so Don't forget there's the lots of noise always. There's little man. Um. Anyway, so this is the effortless queso uh, queso dip, and I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is. I've actually got my bacon back here, and so. I got corn for corn. They've been snacking on corn while I've been prepping other parts of the meal. Hopefully they'll eat some of dinner since uh, they definitely had the, their their snack on. Um, but yeah, so I've got some bacon in this pot back here. Yeah, that's not the only thing I'll be making. I've also got some um, cauliflower fritters is what they were called. Since I spilled my corn and the kids were eating it, I'm going to get my scoop of corn out. I was all ready to go, and then chaos started to ensue. So, here we go. Anyway, so while my bacon's cooking up back here, rather than having a good time, I'm just going to come in here. And these are not actually, um, I didn't. Today. Uh, let's do this. But my potato skin poppers have a ton of Thrive. Um, they have some Chef's Choice. They have some um, the diced potatoes, the potato dices that, that are freeze dried. Uh, and they have uh, the green onions. I guess it's not a ton, but there's not a ton of <laughs> ingredients either. So proportionally, there's a ton. And then these are just, like I said, cauliflower. I totally would have used my thread cauliflower, except they had, um, I had noticed that Bird's Eye had a frozen riced cauliflower that I thought, oh, well, I'll just give that a try just to see what it's like. So this recipe seemed to suit it well. And I thought, okay, well, I'll just try that. But otherwise, I definitely could have powdered up or um, crushed up my my thrive cauliflower like I've done for my, my cauliflower pots in the past, and use those instead. So, all right, let me wash my hands so I can work with that bacon again. The longest amount of time is the bacon. And I've started to use bacon a little bit more, but I really don't like all the grease and splatter from bacon. So it's not always my favorite thing. I mean, I love to eat bacon, don't get me wrong, it's delicious, but just the mess of it is kind of ugh. have any extra, extra empty cans convenience, so I'm just going to put that over there to catch my bacon grease when I'm ready for that. We ain't got any empty cans over here. So, um, so while I have a minute, I guess I will take you and show you. Here's my ingredients that came in my Taste of Thrive. Excuse the corn that went all over the counter. Don't worry, my kids will gobble it up shortly. And of course, there's also some um, ingredients that I got from my, my pantry as well. So I've got the green chili peppers, the red bell peppers, the onion slices. I'm hoping you can see all of this pretty well. Um, onion slices, the sweet corn, the chef's choice seasoning blend, along with a couple of other seasonings. Um, cumin and chili powder are going to go in there. And the velouté sauce, which is the uh, chicken gravy. This stuff's amazing. And then, of course, I'll be throwing in some 
some cheddar cheese, and some milk. So those are all the ingredients that are going to be going into this effortless queso dip. It occurs to me that uh, I better at least try to speak it like I know how to speak the language, like Spanish. Um, I do. <laughs> One, two, three. All right, my bacon's really starting to crisp up there, so I'm going to go ahead and, oh, and garlic. Garlic's going in there too. I had that set aside. Angle that a little bit differently so that if she's watching the stuff I'm cooking. So I'm going to drain off a little bit of this grease. By the way, I'm, I'm cutting that recipe in half um, just because I don't feel like I need to make that much cheese dip, as delicious as I'm sure it's going to be. So there's my, my garlic. I don't want that to burn. So I'm just going to give that a quick stir. And in goes my green chili peppers, my sliced onions, my red bell pepper, my corn, my uh, seasonings, all of those, and my velouté, along with cup of water. I'm going to get those in the pot there. And then I'm going to check my little fritter things over here and see yeah, if are good we're not going to eat these with you know fingers but I just like the idea sometimes of like appetizer type foods I used to do like appetizer nights just just for fun um as to me that is fun <laughs> and then we look back now I've mentioned before that the um these new recipe cards with the, with the intro kit they have um a step-by-step -step instruction so we've completed this step right here, add in the remaining ingredients except for the heavy cream and cheddar cheese. So I'm going to go pour up my, my milk, it's a false for milk for heavy cream, I don't have heavy cream right now, so I'm going to go ahead and get my milk in there, <coughs> so I need, and I don't need very much of that, just a couple of tablespoons, so not much at all. have whole milk just because that's what my kids drink. Otherwise, my husband and I just drink the dried non-fat powdered milk. So, just because then we always have it on hand and we're rotating through our, our home store milk. I'm going to pour you milk in just a second. It's not quite time for dinner. So it says simmer for about three minutes or until slightly thick. So probably when my buzzer goes off to get my um, poppers out, I will go ahead and um, do my next steps here as well. And I think it's time for me to make a couple more of these. I love that it comes with so many ingredients to help you just get cooking right away. And the tortilla soup did make a lot. I made that live um, on Facebook Live last week. Oh, 
made but we have a little queso dip to go with dinner and I'm pretty excited to give it a try so happy driving oh and happy Valentine's Day <laughs> <laughs> 